Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. 2013 Toyota Prius with 182,000 miles on the odometer and it's another head gasket job. Look how busy it is here. Here is the head gasket itself. Here are the parts you can see but it's all included in their work and in this case before you will put it all back together using that incredible engine gasket kit meaning engine head gasket kit from Toyota hopefully you already can read the number before you will start slapping it together you have to prepare your surfaces in order for that head squish that head gasket towards to the block and torque it down squish it down in order for this repair to last you better make sure your surfaces are perfect but in the case you want to do something like that do you know how to prepare the surfaces so two surfaces we worried is the engine block and the head i don't need to worry about this one because i religiously follow the rule that before i will install this back I give it to the machine shop and if you guys look with me and I can show you the detail this was resurfaced by the machine shop basically they do and my guy does three items he pressure tests the head for possible cracks that's a 40 psi and he marks it good first he cleans and pressure tests number two he checks the valves using vacuum if they are not leaking if they are correctly seated and they don't need to be redone number three and that's the final he uses his mill and he resurface this area so this is absolutely perfectly flat so as you can see investing a little bit less than 200 bucks this is worth every penny and I will always go back to him if I can and if I can that means that I plant ahead and I have plenty of time to give it to him he normally brings it or gives it back in 24 hours so I always plan for that so I can afford to remove it give it to him and have this lift and my shop blocked for another 24 hours so it's a matter of planning it's not a matter of being able to afford uh, let's say 175 dollars it's below 200 what I spent on him now here is the engine block this is in the car and it cannot be removed this area also needs to be perfectly clean and flat so i can put the new head gasket on it resurface head and then using those head bolts torque it correctly use the procedure and squish that head gasket so good that it will not leak hopefully uh, for another 150,000 miles this is a Prius 2ZR FXE and both head and the block are aluminum and that means this is very very soft material because of that I'm extremely worried and careful about not doing any scratches in it not scratching 
the aluminum anywhere and because of that I'm using these pads this is the hardest abrasive material I will use for cleaning this surface obviously it will need the machining shop again to run the cutting device over it and make it absolutely straight and that's impossible because it's mounted in the vehicle so we just need to clean this I have no means here in the shop and this is the way it's done every single time I have no means to machine it and make it straight so to not damage any of that surface this is the highest abrasive I will use you can see it here it's from 3M and this is what I do I have a glove normally when I'm not filming and I just clean it I clean all the spots which were visible right here I just push on it observe what's happening because you have these little areas always I go all the way out uh, if there was a gasket it's a FIPG I may remove it with a razor blade but only from outside outside but here the surface I will never touch with with the razor blade it's aluminum it's too soft you will damage it and you will have a head gasket leaks so this is what I use and this is the max I will feel comfortable to use I will not speed up the process using the die grinder with either these abrasive wheels or no way with the sandpaper wheels I will not even use this Rolock discs and maybe some of you do the gray one is the softest one yellow is a little bit more abrasive and the green color is the most abrasive I tried those in the past and I'm actually not using them I will not use metal brushes on it I will not use any of these razor blade scrapers there's no way this is the easiest way to damage that aluminum I will not try to think oh I will use the flat file and just make it straight not going to happen I will not use any sandpaper I don't care what grade I will just avoid that this is the product which always worked for me fine scuff sanding sponge it has different names but this is what I use so far knock it on the wood my head gasket jobs are holding up I have not any problems and so far it was success talking to the machine shop guy I will tell you a little story which he brought up we were we had a time yesterday to talk a little bit uh, I was also proposing to him in the past I would like to come and film that entire procedure the three steps he always does for me but he's kind of shy and he said well I will have to clean my shop and this and that so I'm not pushing on him anymore but we were talking a uh, little learning from his experience he does all kinds of machining basically all of it so he does racing carts and upgrade engines and so on he does it all I will say he has pretty large one-man machine shop so he said also be careful what happened in the past somebody will try to guarantee his job of machining heads on some V8 they took the brand new heads from him installed them with a new head gaskets and so on <laughs> filled the engine with the coolant but never started it 
never started it, never warmed it up, just they let it sit for like two months. It was obviously some racing car or something. It was just torqued correctly and they let it sit for approximately two months and then they came and one of the cylinders had a coolant in it. So it's also very important when you do the job, you follow every single correct torque procedure. Uh, it's also very important when you will finish the job, fill it with the coolant to start it up and run the engine, start using it. You don't want to let it sit, because no matter how perfectly squeezed it is, if there was the tiniest, tiniest imperfection over there, uh, in the air gasket, if you let it sit for months, the coolant could leak into the cylinder and create a problems, basically redoing the job. So I never heard of it. I heard it from him yesterday. I'm passing it on you. It's all learning, isn't it? We always learn something every day, something new. So I'm using that Toyota kit, which is perfect. There's everything in it. This is the gasket, which is coming on. I'm behind because instead of doing anything, I keep filming. I always replace this valve, PCV valve, on the front of the block, which is right here. I always replace that because that's a famous valve, which fills the intake with the oil. These intakes are always full of oil when you remove them. You have to pour out like a small cup. Well, I will not overdo it. Yeah, there is a bunch of oil always. So I use that. I always do the EGR uh, cooler and the piping cleaning. I always clean this too as a part of this head gasket. Obviously, throttle body cleaning will be done too. Brand new engine oil and filter. I will replace the spark plugs. That's already here for this engine. The coolant, super long life coolant from Toyota. It will be filled new. It will be all in the notes so the people know that they have additional 5,000 miles on the engine oil and filter. On the coolant, that's 90,000 miles when you fill the whole engine coolant. That's not a uh, inverter coolant here. That's a completely different system. The coolant uh, reservoir was there. It's just sitting here. That's the uh, coolant for the engine, which is here. If you look down there, you will still see it. Here you can see the last moments before it will go on. I just want to show you it's a multi-layer head gasket, it's not just one piece, it's a multi-layer and I believe these are really good ones. That's why I stick with Toyota only. I have no reason to believe there is some better head gasket available for this engine. I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you find this helpful. Please share what you use if you ever do or you did head gasket job and both surfaces were aluminum head and the block. Share what you use. I'm assuming some of you do use these. I felt even the softest one is a little bit too aggressive but Maybe I'm wrong, so please share your comments. I will gladly learn from you something too. If you like the video, please give a thumb up and thank you for watching. I will catch you in the next one. See ya.